Outsiders, hello, I'm Tony from the Outsider channel here with you. And today I've got a huckleberry of a vid for you. Yeah, what the hell am I talking about? Well, you saw the thumbnail. Let's talk about gravel bike riding. Let's talk about the new Scepter all in one package today. I'm gonna give you a breakdown of what the bike is. Then we're gonna go on our first ride together in Laguna. And then at the end, I'm gonna sum up what I thought and am I gonna stick with this or am I gonna move on? What do I, what are my thoughts? Where does this fit into my life or does it? And with that, I'll see you guys on the other side. With the new Scepter Core 4, YT launched their very first ever gravel bike, while at the same time shaking up existing bike categories. Why do I say that? Well, this bike wasn't made to potentially compete and win the races, but branch out into a category that's a cross between MTB and graveling. A new uncharted landscape that sticks to the YT aesthetics. Combining a long reach and short stem, all the while created for downhill performance and adventure, the Scepter is dressed to impress with a unique design at a price point of only 4,500 bucks. YT says the Scepter was primarily developed as a gravel rig for mountain bikers. Like I said, not for roadies. To make sure that the bike can handle all sorts of trails, the frame was thoroughly tested. What does that mean? Well, you can actually hit drops on this thing, smaller ones, and not even void the warranty in doing so. As for components, the Scepter comes equipped with a complete SRAM XPLR group set and shock shocks Shock Jocks. Rock Shock's Judy Ultimate XPLR suspension fork with 40 millimeters of travel. It's a bike with contrasting design, combining a thicker down tube saddle with a thin and wide top tube. YT also says the Scepter was built to redefine what's possible within the drop bar genre. Gravel bike with a twist. And that's what you get, folks. But what did I think? Not only of the bike, of my first ever gravel ride. Let's hit the trails and find out. All right, Coastal Peak Park. I'm familiar with the area. I chose accordingly. You're witnessing the first five seconds of me ever on a gravel bike. Feels weird going into here not being on a mountain bike. And my posture is way more forward, obviously with the bars. First things first, do I go down the stairs on the gravel bike? Yes, I do. All right, our first descent. Here we go. Boring to me, you guys. Wow. The bike is super light. I'm almost worried about it because it's so light. The shifting is all new. So this is on the left-hand side here is uh, the downshift and the right is the upshift. Right next to the brake levers, you just press them in. And the dropper post, if you press both of them in, that goes up and down. And the climbing is, as you would think, a breeze. I mean, it's no e-bike, but hey, it's the next best thing. Because even though I'm not going on any single track or downhill stuff, definitely on dirt and sand here in SoCal, loosey goosey. So there's Lizard Trail to the left, which I'm usually going down. We're headed yonder, folks. Take it in the golden hour over here on the Newport Laguna border. Pacific Ocean is just to our right which we'll see in a few minutes. One of the things I'm right off the bat trying to get used to is where to put my hands. This is a comfortable spot right now for a metal climb. Downhill, or going a little bit faster off climb right here. You get the brakes right there. I could be wrong. For you uh, gravity bike riders out there, drop some comments. Give me some advice. I'm gonna be riding this bike for two weeks on and off before I have to give it back. So any pointers are helpful. I feel like such a noob, you guys. <laughs> it's been a while. I felt like this on my first mountain bike ride and uh, bringing back some nostalgic memories here. I feel like I don't know anything. I should mention, I got the uh, Apple Ultra Watch right now going. A little pupper pip as my screensaver. Huge thanks to my new channel sponsor, Urban Armor Gear for the band, one of many they sent over. And they actually sent over the watch to test out as well. So I'll be doing like a review on if the Apple Watch is actually worth the money or what did I get out of it. And I'll also be getting the regular Apple 8 watch to bring on rides and just having my daily life. I've never had that before. I'm starting to adjust to it. It's pretty nice being able to verbalize text messages, have a cool band 
that doesn't hurt on the skin when I'm riding. It's kind of a new addition to the lifestyle. I'm liking it so far. Oh yeah, this is a much better stance for climbing. Hopefully I'm right about that. Kind of stand up and uh, your arms feel pretty comfortable. If I'm wrong, I'm gonna feel silly about that. I gotta be honest with you, I'm having some fun on this thing. I feel like it's a different mind state. You gotta get your mind out of the, uh, I'm on a mountain bike and I'm just pedaling up to get to the descent. This is the ride, folks. You're just kind of out in nature, ups and downs. You gotta stay on your toes because obviously you can get washed out, but the danger meter's a little bit less, obviously. Fitness is more of a priority. I'm gonna put about an hour in on these trails today, acclimate to the bike, and then uh, go up from there and see where it takes me these next couple weeks. All right, folks, we're at a beautiful spot right now, pre-Thanksgiving day ride. It's getting an appreciation station in, and I just wanna let you guys know I'm appreciating and thankful for all of your support over the last few years. Moments like this, I like to take it in and just kind of see where my life's at, and I appreciate you guys taking the time to watch my videos every week and supporting me. For those of you on Patreon and a little extra support, love you guys, and uh, yeah, let's get a pre-Thanksgiving appreciation station in. Got another bit of a descent here, a little more chunky. Chunkiest section of the day. It's the sand. I almost get nerv more nervous about the sand than the, the bumps getting used to the bike. Woo! Like right there, all sand on a turn. <laughs> All right, I'm starting to feel more confident on the bike. I don't have to think about every little movement I'm doing. I'm starting to notice I'm kind of adjusting accordingly, kind of like when you start to acclimate to mountain bike riding, things just kind of feel more natural. All right, you guys, as I cruise back to the truck on one final descent coming up, I'm gonna turn you guys over to myself and let's talk about this bike, the Scepter, and let's talk about my first experience gravel bike riding. Am I gonna stick with it? I don't know. And we're back, people. Oh man, a gravel ride. This is the first time I've ever had to wrap my brain around a new experience like this. Is gravel riding a thing that I'm gonna do in the future? Right now, to be honest with you, I don't know. It's kind of an in interesting dynamic. I mean, I have the bike for a couple more weeks, so I'm gonna give it some more rides and acclimate to that life a little bit or that brain and um, maybe get a little more jiggy with it. I'm gonna get some more ride time on it and see what I feel like. As far as the bike, the bike is super light. Just a beautiful bike overall. If you're gonna be getting into or wanna try out gravel bike riding, hit up the YT Mill here in Southern California in San Clemente. They have a fleet of these things and they offer up for you guys to take them out on the local trails and see if you like them. So that's a definitely a huge thing that you can try out a new experience before you get into it, kind of like what I'm doing right now and see if that is for you. Um, as far as the bike itself fitting in a new category, it does feel like a crossover between mountain bike riding and roadie stuff. It's got a little fork on the front. It's got some things that kind of make it a little bit more plush on the fire roads that I was on. Um, as far as gravel bike riding, like I said, I'm wrapping back up into this. Um, it's weird. <laughs> I don't know what else to say. It's just so new and foreign to me. Like sometimes when I'm out there, I'm thinking like, I kind of miss going down the trails. Like I want to go down that lizard trail or I want to go hit up TNA right across the street from where I'm at. But um, you've got to put your brain almost into a different a different mode, you know, like you're going to go out there, you're you're seeing the trails, you're going to be in nature and you're going to more focus into the fitness end of things, which I can also appreciate. And who knows, I think that what this bike can also do is take you to new places and it may allow you to do some more exploring. So I'm going to try that out in the next few weeks. Stick around. Right, let me know what you think in the comments. Is this a bike that you, you kind of think that you want to try? What do you think about me riding this? friggin' bike. All the things. I can get to every every question and comment in the bottom. So stick around. I'll see you next week and uh, talk to you soon. <laughs>